I am really interested in dance and electronic and club, and that's what I like, and I don't really care if it's in or it's out or what. That's what I'm down with, and um, you know, I'm very involved in the Grammy organization, NARIS, um, lobbying for an album dance category. There is no album category, it's only a singles category. Um, I'm on the remix screening committee, I'm on the dance single screening committee. Um, what I'm trying to do is, you know, change the stakes of dance music, the perception of dance music in America to include all of the amazing uh, progressive things that are happening and that are affecting popular music. But for some reason we still have this uh, disco backlash uh, against dance music. And, you know, I think we just have to, um, to work to change perceptions and, and so I try and do that, you know, here at home. It's not about, you know, flying over experts from England to, you know, do cream fields here and teach us all how to do it, you know. It's, we need to do this ourselves and, and so it needs to be homegrown and that's what my work is about on radio, um, doing supervision for film, for TV, for, for um, advertisements. Just this year I've done three Mitsubishi commercials, all those music intensive Mitsubishi commercials were my work. Um, I'm doing, uh, let's see, Motorola, I put these, I put DJs in these Motorola commercials, Paul Van Dyke, Felix the House Cat, and Colette, um, where they're actually in the spots, I don't know if you saw any of them, they ran mainly during the MTV Video Music Awards, but, um, you know, that's really where my interest lies, so I'm not, I'm not prepared to just move to, to rock or, or any other genre just because <laughs> it's, uh, maybe a smart move <laughs> i don't know <laughs> call me naive i don't care i just mm -hmm. this is what i love and uh, that's what i'm going to stick with mm -hmm. and what did you mean by disco backlash well um i think um back in the in the in the seventies you know disco got to a point of kind of saturation and became associated with um simplistic track acts and pop music and it just had to go back underground you know there's kind of this pivotal moment and I don't remember what year it is but it, it's uh, an infamous day at Kaminsky Park in Chicago where a local DJ had a, a demonstration a protest and burned disco records and disco sucks and all this stuff and you know it's kind of like that day marked a turn where uh, dance music had to go back underground because you know, people were were kind of associating it with their own, you know, homophobic uh, attitudes and and maybe drug associations. I think disco just came to a point where it, it self-destructed because it just blew up so big. Everybody, even the you know biggest rock bands in the world, the Rolling Stones, did "Miss You." It's like their disco song, um, and it just came to a point of saturation and went back underground. But um, as it um, as it continued to mutate underground and involve different sounds and house music and and acid house and new beat and everything acid jazz and just this amazing explosion of club music, it's um, it it hasn't really um, come across in a cohesive way. Like hip hop, hip hop is this like defined culture, where um, whether you're talking about graphic arts like graffiti or dance or photography or dress whatever it's all hip-hop and you know rap is kind of the lyric vocal song part of hip-hop but dance music hasn't enjoyed the same type of unified message and even internally you know people well, I like house music well I like drum and bass well I like trance and I hate trance and you know we haven't actually all gotten on the same page the way that hip-hop has I mean, you'll find commercial artists like P. Diddy will be like, I'm down with hip hop. And, you know, he's, the, he's one of the biggest commercial, commercially successful artists there is. So, you know, what we really need to do is to kind of unify our message. Uh, I wish we had, you know, real formats, radio formats, video programs, you know, all of these things so that people can get in touch with the music. Uh, I think it's severely lacking. Um, but I think one of the problems is that the old guard that still controls the purse strings and the distribution and, and, and all of these things in the record business, 
they don't believe in dance music because they still subscribe to that 70s idea of disco sucks. And so um, we need more people who are in positions of influence, is what I'm working on, <laughs> um, to just say, you know what, this is what I love and I don't care what, you know, I, we're going to put this forward because I know that people love it and I believe in the promise of the underground.